Hi, it's Grammy from Grammy and Grandpa Read, and today I have a book for you called Yeti Cooks Spaghetti by Russell Punter and David Semple. High up in the mountains lies Yeti's Snow Cafe. This hairy chef expecting guests. There's a lot to do today. It says Snow Cafe bookings today, 20 members of the climbing club. That's a lot. It's gotta cook for 20. He makes some fresh spaghetti, pours water in a pot, then he lights the fire underneath. It heats it till it's hot. Yeti adds the pasta, but will this feed 20 guests or shall I make five times as much? Perhaps that would be best. While Yeti's food is left to cook, he sees to things outside. Just as he gets the table set, the, climb, the climbing club arrives. Let's try your fresh spaghetti. No problem, Yeti cries. Then crash, splatter, slither. Here it comes and now it's twice the size. Spilling from the kitchen and pouring through the doors, the stream of wet spaghetti slides and glides around their paws. You see all of it? It's getting everywhere. That was a lot of spaghetti. Oh no, I must have made too much. Poor Yeti just can't cope. The pasta is going faster now. It's flowing down the slope. Look at that. A vulture flies down from above. These look like juicy worms. He tries a bit but spits it out. By now it's cold and firm. That's probably frozen. The customers have fled in shock. It's all gone wrong, says Yeti. A flock of vulture flutters up. Can we buy your spaghetti? It's just the best for making nests. Some second helpings? Yes, now Yeti can't cook fast enough. His cafe is a success. <laughs> That's funny. They didn't eat it. They used it as their nests. <laughs> I hope you like this book. Please subscribe to our channel.